Welcome to Talking Tactics. It's back. It's been away for over a year, but myself and Owen Gomane will attempt to at least once a week pick up one key issue that we picked up um, in terms of rugby that was played in the previous weekend. The first week of Vodacom Super Rugby Action, Owen, you were commentating that match uh, between the Sharks and um, the Lions. And obviously, early days, very tough to gauge, but we all know that the set piece needs to go well. What, would, what did you think? Round one Super Rugby. I think it's what we expected even more. I thought the contest at the, uh, Ellis Park was amazing. Both teams had a chance to win that game. It was good to see the numbers out there once again. I'm getting goosebumps just talking about it. I thought... That's uh, because the Lions won. No, not even. Not even. But, uh, you know, there were times where you thought the Sharks deserve it. They were out there. And, yeah. and, and I think the composure of the Lions when it mattered most uh, came through. I think home ground advantage played a huge role. So for me, what stood out in week one was the set piece. You know, there's been changes in the scrum law, a bit of addition as well. But I uh, was very impressed with the Sharks line out. I thought they can build on it. Have a look at this. What, what Ruan Borta did exceptionally well on Saturday was just to get in front of, of the Lions jumpers. It's almost like they knew the, the, the calls, you know. Mm. Uh, they knew the calls every time uh, Ruan got in front. There we go got in front of the jumpers and uh, won the ball back. They could have utilized that position a lot, a lot better, but it's week one. Um, and, and, and I thought they did enough points away from home. So quite impressed with the set piece of the shots. Really stood out for me. Once again, in front of the Lions jumper, with that putting the pressure on Malcolm Marks, they started doubting themselves. Yeah. The calls came a lot later. The throw was a little bit iffy yeah. when the pressure's on. Yeah. And, and every now and again, they, look, once again, that, that, that's just brilliant. I mean, have a look at that. It's just a guy doing the basics, and, and he's just, just over two meters getting in front of his man. It did that all day. I mean, that makes life so much easier for everybody. There's not much that Warren could have done there. Yeah, yeah. You know, Warren is second, and then there's Ruan over there. So, so it's, just, it's just brilliant. There's not much Warren could have done. And it, there's not a lot of options when you've got two jumpers. It's a short line out. Talk about options, you know, and, and, and I expected that the Sharks to dominate the line. I said about four op uh, jumpers. Mm. You know, you had the two locks. You had Daniel Dupree at the back of the line out. Uh, Philip Van as well. Option. So brilliantly done. And also the Fermulan, I think he's capable. I was very impressed. He got around the pocket and he can jump. So they put the, the, the pressure on the line outs all day. And this pressure for me was sustained throughout the whole 80 minutes. Yeah. You know, that, that, was a, that was a big difference. Now, when you compare to, have a look at the, at the Lions. We talk of the Lions, what, what was good for them on Saturday was their scrums. Definitely the scrums. Everybody's been talking about, in particular, how the Sharks tight head battled. We know the Thomas Dutoy issue, but let's take a look at where the strength from the Lions comes from. And oh, when you spoke about the new laws, hooking as well was said to be something that the Lions were going to struggle with because that's not their game plan. They did incredibly well. They did, they did too. They, you know, they adapted well. Um, you know, Kunio Stazing being, being injured. Uh, Thomas Detoy, I mean, I read from Gavin Rich of Supersport.com saying that it's been a call coming from upstairs. You know, it reminds us of a project Kunio a couple of years ago. Kunio played a lot on the loose head and then uh, they, they moved him to tight head and Last year was outstanding for this. Well, they course. missed Kuni, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they did too. But, you know, 22 years old, if, if this is a project, it's going to be a long-term project. If we're talking about Thomas Dutoy, maybe let's look at, uh, at the World Cup in France in 2023. But pure dominance from the Lions scrum. Yeah. And, and with that, you know, from, your, from, from, from Rowan playing his, uh, his 50th game, a solid left shoulder is allowed a guy like Kwaka to, to get in the mix. I mean, Kwaka is in there. He's, he's, in, front, he's in front of, uh, of the fly half. Look at that. It just opens everything up for Kwaka. So his heads up defensively, if something happens pressure-wise, yeah. What, what that does, I mean, uh, Kola, you'll always, if you have a look here, you'll, you'll get a clear, get my error right. Not love you, here we go. That's better. There you'll get a go. clear run in at the fly half. You, you, you know what I mean? So it'd give him an extra meter. That's from a solid left, le, uh, left shoulder by the Lions. And, and what they did exceptionally well was that they maintained this for a good uh, 60 minutes. And I think from then on, they just managed to build a bit of confidence as a squad. Yeah. As we know, a number of players came in from Japan. And they settled in a bit in that 60th minute. Um, they lost a bit of dominance when there was a change. The Sharks changed the front row. The entire front row, front row changed, early in the second half, yeah. Picked up one or two penalties. So it's not all doom and doom for the Sharks. I think uh, they've got a rest coming up this weekend. They'll definitely want to work hard on their set piece at scrum time. For the Lions, a big contest coming up this uh, next weekend. Uh, before we go, and we're almost out of time, I want to ask you about that young man, Thomas Dutoy. Big, big debate about his future as, 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 as uh, tight head rather than at loose head. We know he's a class world, um, uh, class Lucy. Isn't he losing out in terms of career while other youngsters are picking up games? If I look at someone like Stephen Kitsov at Lucid, he's going great guns. He will be a shoe-in for the World Cup if he keeps going. Nothing tried, nothing gained. Let's have a look at it. Kitsov, 
mm. the beast in Tahrir. These are loose days in South Africa. D Dylan Smith is back in, 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 in the fray from, from injury. He showed a lot of promise as a youngster. You look at a guy like uh, Oxen Chair as well. So tight head, you know, Will Colo is coming through nicely. My Labour is quite solid. We've got yep. Drea from the Lions. How much depth do we really have at tight head? You know, talking about all these props, we've got a guy like uh, Trevor Nyakan who can play both sides. So if you can build depth, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's got to be a long term. And what's the position. ideal? The ideal is it that he becomes a full time tight head at or that he can play? 22 years old at 136 kilograms. If we work on him, then we've got a monster. He's shown what he can do on the loose head. So I'm saying nothing trial and get. He can sit on the, on the loose head, he'll sit bench, then we wait maybe for kids off to get injured, then the next packing order. So if we say, you know, if this is the call from upstairs, saying, yeah. let's try this guy out. As I said, I mean, when we started off with uh, Kuni, yeah. a lot of question marks. Last Kenny, year he came Kenny. to the party. He certainly he was, was on solid. Board. Well, let's wrap it. That's uh, our first uh, Talking Tactics for the year. We'll have another one same time next week. Tell us what you think. Use the hashtag SSRugby. Do you agree? Should Thomas Dutoy be given more of a run at tight head prop? What did you make of the set piece in the first round as well? Mr. Ngumane? Thank you, Papa. Good to see you. Eh? Good to see yeah, you. Yeah, it's good to see you. Oh, looking young. No, well, <laughs> this is good to go. Am I ready to go? Yeah. Well, thank you very invite much Invite me to the studio us. next time, please. You are invited. Oh, always. Open invitation. Open invitation. Let's go, Let's go <laughs> home, son. Cheers, guys.